Hi there, this is Shin. I'm a photographer doing a street photo project called That Way You Were The Day, where I take photos of youth fashion scene on the streets of New York City from 2015. So on um, this video, I'm gonna talk about um, why I started this photo project called That Way You Were The Day. So it's sort of a um, sequel to that first video, What Is That Way You Were The Day? If any of you guys haven't watched the video, please go check it out. Before I start talking about why I started The Way You Read The Day project, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I got into um, street photography world because they're related. Back in the day in Japan, when I lived there, there was a street scene that was really, really popular among some young people called Gyaru culture. Some people were really into it. This culture is about getting their skin really tanned, and having crazy hairstyle, it's hard to explain. I think you will get some idea of what it is from those photos. Yeah. And I was one of them. I was really into that kind of culture. And actually I was modeling in uh, some magazine which features those culture for yeah, several years. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's called modeling, more like, I would say more like an influencer kind of thing. So that's what I was doing. Around the time, I came across this magazine called Street Magazine. This magazine is about street fashion photography from Fashion Week all over the world. Like those four biggest ones, New York, London, Paris, Milan. They have like this fashionable people that I have never seen. I just literally fell in love with it. That's how I um, found street photography, how I really got into street photography, like as a viewer though. That this is just like a really lucky story. One of my friends was actually working in the company that owns the magazine. And this magazine was trying to launch a new magazine, which is featuring the culture I was in, Garu culture. So um, this friend reached out to me saying, uh, will you help us? So then he actually handed me a camera and I started shooting for the company. Although like I was, just, I was not even a photographer, you know, just because I was familiar with the culture. That's why this friend of mine asked me to actually start taking photos in, for the magazine. And ever since I started strolling around in the city, tried to take photos, now that I think about it, I was really lucky, you know. The company whose magazine I love actually reached out to me saying, will you take photo for us? And that's how I got into street photography world. In 2012, I decided to move to America because magazine, street magazine, that showed me what it was like outside of the country, especially um, the cities where fashion weeks took place. I was really influenced by it. A friend of mine who was working for the magazine, he actually flew to those countries to um, take photos during fashion week for Street Magazine. I got to listen to this, his story like about what it was like during fashion week, or just like foreign countries I had never been. So um, yeah, I was just hooked, you know, like kind of typical story to um, dream about some other countries. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, I guess. But, you know, I was younger, I was really curious. Um, I really wanted to check out what it was like. Yeah, I decided to move to America, New York City. Yeah, so um, I moved to New York City in 2012 and luckily around the time, street fashion photography was a huge trend. So uh, after a couple of years, I arrived to New York City. Yeah, I just picked up some photo projects for magazines, websites, some clients. They asked me for certain like type of people, their preferences. So um, I was just following it go out, try to look for those people. I was just sitting on the bench or some stairs at the corner of somewhere, trying to look for people to shoot. But because of the growth of social media, after about three years I was doing that, street photography projects weren't needed as much anymore. So one day I lost almost all the clients I had at the time. And I started thinking about photography again. What am I gonna do now, you know? It's been more like a job, providing some services to someone else. At this point, I finally really started thinking about photography as my own thing, which represents who I am, sort of. And then 
the experiences of Street Magazine that I was talking earlier came back to me, talking to me. That's exactly how I took up photography. I just found this magazine at a bookstore. I got really interested in it. And after a while, I actually started working for the company. So this Street Magazine opened up some opportunity for me. First, as a just a one of fans, when I found the magazine at the bookstore, excitement I had changed my life. And second, when I actually started shooting for this magazine. Yeah, when I look back at it, this magazine definitely led me to a um, certain direction, me as a photographer, you know? So um, I think this is something I really admire. I think I can just do the same thing. So then I was like, why don't I do this in New York, specifically about New York. So um, I can be really, really specific about street culture of New York City. So right after I came to this conclusion, which was in October 2015, I started coming out on the streets of New York City again, trying to look for someone I wanted to take photos of and get straight on full body portraits so that I can best show them the way they were. I think it means more that I get one full shot, including the location so that I can emphasize the person, the place in one picture just because I take photos in the exact same way. I can make people pay attention to all those differences in what's actually happening in the city. I really picked up documentary nature of photography. I just want to show the um, transition or preserve the moment. This is why I started my photo project The Way You Were The Day. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I talked about why I started The Way You Were The Day project today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna leave my Instagram account of my project that way you were the day link below. If any of you guys haven't looked at it, please go check it out. Thank you.